welcome to learn instrumentation engineering youtube channel we are discussing about boiler drum level control system so in the previous video we have discussed a uh, lot of drum level control system so that includes on off level control system modulating level control system so further to proceed uh, on discussing regarding the boiler drum level control system we should know about swelling and shrinking concept so this is an important concept in boiler drum level control system so once we understood this uh, concept we can further proceed to two and t element control systems so this is important concepts and in this uh, youtube channel learn instrumentation engineering we discuss more on basics and fundamentals of instrumentation and control system we also cover a latest technical updates which is happening globally in industrial instrumentation and uh, control system engineering we also cover a latest uh, news on instrumentation so if you are an instrumentation student or a budding instrumentation engineer or even an expertise in this field of instrumentation do subscribe to our channel and i'm pretty sure i provide more valuation to you this is basically a boiler uh, internal arrangement this is a water tube boiler in the bottom you could see that this is a feed water drum and somewhere they used to call this as mud water as well and similarly in the top side we do have a steam drum over here and uh, in the steam drum we have both a uh, hot water and steam as well and this is called the risers bundle where the boiler feed water will get into the steam drum and this is called the downcomers where the boiler feed water would come down again to feed water drum and this will ensure the recirculation of uh, hot water from feed water drum to steam drum so this would continuously work together and in steam drum we do have hot water and basically this is a boiler feed water and in the top portion we have saturated steam these are all basically the combustion area or compartment where hot few glass would be available and this we can call as a combustion area and this saturated steam will be further uh, heated through this superheater where the saturated steam will be converted into super saturated steam and this steam would be distributed to the steam header network so these are all the basic internal arrangements of the boiler we have to understand before getting into swelling and shrinking of it and this is the cross sectional diagram of the uh, boiler again we have rises and uh, uh, down comers so what is basically a swelling see when steam flow increases what happens in the steam drum is the pressure inside the steam drum will reduce or decreases so when the pressure reduces in the steam drum there would be a different phenomenon that would occur over here so the hot water and the steam which is inside the riser bundle so that would get into a flashing so what is basically flashing the hot water will be converted into steam so this is called as flashing so this phenomena would occur when the steam flow increases and pressure decreases in the steam drum so this flashing will cause sudden volume increases inside the uh, riser bundle so this uh, sudden increase in volume will cause the hot water to push downwards 
from the riser so temporarily this would become a down comer and this water will be pushed again inside the uh, down comers and that will reach into the steam drum and create a transient high level inside the steam drum so this wrong level or transient high level uh, during steam flow consumption high is called as swelling effect so this is basically the swelling effect but normally what should be the uh, mandatory requirement when the steam flow increases boiler feed water flow should increase so that we generate more steam but due to the swelling effect it causes a transient high level and boiler feed water would be reduced or cut so this is basically the swelling effect so we have uh, uh, x axis and y axis over here the x axis is time and the y axis has two components boiler level and steam flow so during idle condition steam flow is 50 percentage and suddenly there is a steam flow uh, consumption becomes high or that's a steam demand what automatically what happens over here a swelling effect occurs in the boiler same concept now we are going to discuss in reverse condition when the steam flow is decreased this would cause the pressure inside the steam drum to increases so when a turbine steam turbine trips suddenly the steam flow consumption will come down that will cause uh, higher pressure inside the steam drum this will cause the hot water to collapse inside the riser so basically we do have lot of bubbles in the hot water and that will start to collapse and this would cause a sudden decrease in the volume inside the chamber so that would cause the boiler feed water to come down from the down comers and the water would be sucked inside the uh, rises and this would cause a transient low level inside the steam drum and this phenomena is called shrinking effect basically what we need to have when the steam flow is decreased we have to reduce or cut the boiler feed water flow but due to shrinking effect due to the transient low level the boiler feed water would be increased due to the shrinking effect so this is basically a shrinking effect so now let's check the shrinking effect with a graphical representation again the exercise is time and the y axis has two components boiler level and the steam flow when the steam flow is 100 percentage suddenly uh, the steam flow consumption comes down and that would cause a shrinking effect in the boiler level so we have understood how swelling and shrinking effect principally work in the boiler uh, drum level system and this uh, concept is very very important as if you don't understand you again watch this video carefully so that you can easily understand the swelling and shrinking effect and in this video you would have got a clear understanding regarding the boiler internal arrangements and the swelling and shrinking effect as well if you like this video please hit the like button and share to instrumentation community if you want to watch such instrumentation video do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering youtube channel thank you